Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing the next Art Addicts Alliance piece and this month we decided instead of letting you guys choose the theme and everything, we wanted to do a collage and just do it on the theme of October, I guess it is. And it's been a long time since I've done collage work and I, I don't think I can remember the last time I did it. So it was a bit not a struggle actually this time for once it wasn't a struggle. it was quite actually it was a lot of fun but i wanted to try and do this using magazine collages and mixed media because i'm not very good at just doing collage with just magazine work so i thought you know what i'll just do a mix of both and it still works um, and the only magazines I actually collect in any way are the Neo magazines, which is like a anime subscription magazine thing. Well, you can subscribe to it, but I just buy it in the shop every now and again. And the one that I used actually got damaged in the move, so I wasn't too precious over it. Whereas all my other ones are in pretty decent condition, so I would never have torn them up or anything, but... Um, at first you saw me just tearing out pages of images I wanted to use to then draw from and I decided to go with this one of the two girls because I thought it would be quite interesting to try and break them down and do sections of them drawn with different materials um, so yeah first I sort of laid out the picture and then just got to tearing it up and choosing what sections I wanted to take out from the actual image and stuff like that and I did a few test runs like just testing colors and materials and yeah I'm actually really happy with how the piece turned out but yeah um I have an announcement to make I guess it's an announcement I'm now on vidme and I'll leave a link to it in the description below, so if you could go on over there and just give me a follow, that would be great, thank you. Um, I know there's a big thing at the minute for YouTubers are really struggling, because obviously the adpocalypse and all of that, and it's not hit me, obviously, because I'm not a big enough channel. But I did have my first video demonetized the other day, just because it had a little bit of bare boob in one of the pictures. but. Oh well, that's what happens when you do nude art sometimes. You're not going to be able to share it everywhere. But yeah, so I thought I'd get onto the Vidme train and give it a go. And I actually really like the layout of it. It's so simple. It's a lot easier because you can just upload straight from YouTube onto it. But it's really cool. And I'm thinking of doing the subscription tiers on there and setting rewards. So it's kind of like a Patreon, but all in one. But... I'm not sure on that yet, so please, if you have any views, then let me know. Cause I'm I'm still on the fence about that bit, but anyway, um, yes, we've nearly hit 300 subscribers as as I said in my last video, and I'm hoping to do a Q&A. So I'll leave a link to that Q&A video down below, and well, the link to where I ask for your questions, so you can see that one, but. Yeah, if you can leave some comments down in this video as well with any questions, then as soon as we hit 300 subscribers, I'll get to recording and do the Q&A video. But back to the artwork. Um, I think my favourite part of this whole piece was actually the hair on the right-hand girl. Um, uh, in this bit I did actually try and use eyeshadow to do the background but my eyeshadows just weren't pigmented enough so I just got out the chalk pastels which again is something I've not used for a long time so that was quite fun it was fun to just experiment and play with materials and not be as precious about the piece so I used a combination of there's inks uh, chalk pastels the Ecoline brush pens, Sharpies, markers, pencil crayons, um, I think there was some brush pen in there, just 
normal straight up graphite, there's biro, I think. I, I can't even remember everything that I've used because I've just used a lot. But for the background I really wanted to give kind of an atmosphere behind the girls because they were quite bright so I wanted to do quite a dark background. And I thought, you know what, why not just go for like the creepy-ish looking cliche Halloween-y sky sort of thing with the big full moon. Um, and yeah, I think it really tied all the colours in the piece in together. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm kind of struggling for what to say now. So I guess I'll just leave you with some music for the last bit of the video. I hope you like the piece and yeah, I guess I will see you next time. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.